Actually, um, I think maybe I'll just buy one more. Okay. Bananas? Uh, I'm going to retire soon. Oh, is it really? Yeah, next year. Next year? Really? <laughs> then what's going to happen to the store? Uh, in the history. Ah, uh, really? No more idea? Wow. And that was the bombshell he dropped on me when I went to buy more uh, Goreng Pisang. But I will only find out uh, after I finish all my filming. So, watch out. Hi. Hey, can I buy one of each? Yeah. Okay, hi. Um, we're back here at Maxwell Food Centre. We are going to try the all famous Lim Key Orchard Banana Fruit. Any Goreng Pisang fan will be familiar with this store, which used to be located on Somerset Road by the PUB building. The stall is actually a heritage office stall, which started in 1950 in a coffee shop at uh, Quick Road. We moved to Maxwell Food Centre around uh, 2008 or so, and the quality of this Goreng Pisang, the banana fritters, remained excellent. Okay, run by a uh, 54-year-old uh, Corinne Lim. There was a period of time when they had like expansion plans and they had several outlets around. Uh, but now, um, the order has changed and it's now back to just one store here. Right here, see? Behind me. The Korean Pisangs here are priced a bit higher. About 150 or so versus the normal prices are about $1, $1.20. But every piece you have here is like, it's like tucking into perfection, seriously. The addictive batter, it's kind of like a mixture of rice flour, salt, water and something else. The I suspect it's tapioca flour. It's got a lighter than air crispiness and there's none of that bad oil smell because the hawkers actually add lime inside the oil to eliminate that. The only ripened pisang raja are used. You can tell it's ripe and it's got a slightly black center. These pisang rajas, right, they've got a high water content so it makes it suitable for frying because after frying, right, uh, it actually still retains a lot of moisture. And then it's got a nice balance of sweetness and acidity, and it's got like a full custard like flavor. There's always a lovely softness in the texture. They sell other varieties of Goreng Pisang, but it depends on availability of ingredients. They sell yam, they sell tapioca cake, they sell green bean, they sell sweet potato and champada. I managed to speak to him before recording, and he said the champada is out off season, so we won't be able to try it today, unfortunately. Sadly. Sometimes they offer Goreng Pisangs using the extra large bananas which can be had at about 180. Okay, I've uh, bought four. Let's try the classic Goreng Pisang. I've really broken into it. Oh, so good. It is like one of the best things ever. It's crispy, there's like a slight saltiness to it. Uh, okay, just tasting the batter alone, okay? I've never actually done this. Yeah, this be very slight saltiness to it. Very, very, very slight. One thing about his goreng pisang is that it remains uh, crispy for a very, very long time. And the banana itself is soft, it's custardy, it's got a slight acidic taste to it, so that it's not overly rich. It literally just melts in your mouth. It's amazing. I wish I could eat this every day, but I can't because once you eat this, right, you can't eat anything else. This is so rich. It's so good. There's a lot of moisture inside. You know, I've never tasted a dry one ever in my life. Let's try the sweet potato. Whenever I come to this store, right, I would really only order the Goreng Pisang and not really much else, maybe the Chumpada. But I've never actually tried the other variety, so this is my first time trying it. So, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section about any of my comments, okay? It looks like a um, sliced sweet potato. Oh, wow. It's got a very light natural sweetness to it. It's not super, super, super soft, but it's soft enough. Nice, but not my favorite. I think it can be sweeter, depending on the kind of sweet, sweet potato you use. The sweet potato you use is not particularly sweet, but the batter is so good though. It's got that distinct uh, sweet potato taste to it. Very, 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 very lightly sweet. It's 
Let's try it. Smash is a bit dry, you know, but it's sweeter than the sweet potato, but not as sweet as the banana. And the batter is really the key here. Okay, it's almost like sweet yam kueh, but it has got a color texture and they put the butter around and they fry it. So it's almost like kabo and kabo. So. Not bad though, it's better than I expected. I'm sorry to say this, but in comparison to the Kori Pisang, right? The Kori Pisang way surpasses all the other items here. Way surpasses. It is so good. Which is why I left the other half for last. Because it is the absolute amazing best here. So thank you for watching another episode of uh, Greg's Big Beats. Alright, we do the whole of Singapore. I'm currently doing a Maxwell, which is why you see a lot of Maxwell stuff right, right now. Uh, like, subscribe, comment if you know a little bit more about Kori Pisa. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Actually, um, I think maybe I'll just buy one more. Okay. Bananas? Uh, I'm going to retire soon. Oh, is it really? Yeah, next year. Next year? Really? <laughs> then what's going to happen to the store? Uh, in the history. I ah, really no more idea. Wow. Confirm? Uh, you can put in YouTube. Uh, that is the history. It's very really confirmed. Wow. More than 60 years. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry, your children don't take over. No, no, no. 340. This generation, they will not. <laughs> then I believe here as much as I can. I myself work more than 40 years. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you have a very good job. You know roughly when? Mid year or end year or what? Uh? 2018. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, you heard it first here. He's going to retire. End of uh, 2018. No one wants to take over, 60 years of my heritage gone. It's a very sad day. So, I, after hearing that, that news, I bought one more. So, uh, I'll be extremely sad, but I'll be coming back more to the store. And I am once again with you When our love was new and it's just an inspiration Oh, but that was long ago And now my consolation Is in the stardust of a song Beside a garden wall Where stars are bright Honey, you are in my arms that nightingale sings its fairy tale Of paradise where roses grew Though I dream in vain In my heart it